Hello and welcome back to Multiventure X. We are back with yet another interesting video where we will discuss how the vendors are managed in a marketplace. In a multi-vendor site, understanding your vendor is equally as important as understanding the market or the product. With Multivendor X vendor management feature, you can manage multiple register vendor at the same time. Before we see how the vendors are managed, let's just see a new method to onboard vendors. In the earlier videos, we have seen how the vendors registered themselves on the site. In today's video, we will discuss how the vendors are manually registered. From the admin dashboard, navigate to the Multivendor X option available here. Once selected, click on the vendors like so. Now select add new vendor option. Once redirected, add in vendor details like the username Jack, password, first and the last name, email ID, the nickname. Lastly, upload a beautiful profile picture. Once all the details are added, recheck and click save. In case you want to view the vendor jack, navigate to the vendor log available under the Multivendor X vendor option. We can clearly spot the details of the vendor jack like the email address, number of products, vendor statuses and action. You can also view the signed in vendor statuses like approved, pending, rejected and suspended. Of which we will discuss this in more depth as we progress with the video. Finally done with the onboarding part, now let's focus on how you can manage these vendors with ease. In our last video on vendor registration, you must have learned how to approve or reject a vendor. In this video, we will be presenting you with an alternate way of either approving or denying a new vendor. On the vendor log page, by clicking onto the approve tab, you can view all the vendors who are already running their stores successfully. Next, from the signed in vendor statuses, select pending. As the name suggests, under this tab, you can view all the vendors who are yet not approved by you to set up their stores. Whenever you click onto the eye icon, a dialog box pops, where the admin can see all the details shared by the vendor during the vendor registration process. You can either click onto this accept button to allow the vendors to sell on the site or may click onto this reject button to reject the vendor. On the blank space, you can write a note to the vendors to let them know about the reason for acceptance or the rejection. You also have an option to edit the vendor where you will directly get redirected to the vendors page as soon as you click onto this edit button. Back to the vendor log, the reject tab keeps a track of the rejected vendors. In case you have changed your mind and want to accept the rejected vendors, you can do that from the eye icon as well. In case you find the vendors violating or misusing any store policies, you can suspend the particular vendor for a certain period of time, making the vendor store inactive. You can also edit the suspended vendor and activate them in due time. Let's see how you can retrieve any information regarding a particular vendor. At first, click on to the vendor. Now, when you are redirected to the vendors page, you can see that there is a list of drop-down menus. There is some information that cannot be altered or deleted by the vendors. To take care of the process, the admin has the capabilities to edit or delete any information related to the vendors. Apart from the username of the vendors, you can alter other details of the vendor if required. This including the password, at times a vendor might forget the password or there might be any security issues. The vendors can let the admin know about the issue and request them to change the password or any information. First name, last name, the email address can also be changed. You can also upload the profile images of the vendors. 
Now let's click on to this store option. Under the store setting tab, you can change the store name and add store description and also can upload the store media. Phone number and address can also be added or edited accordingly by the admin. Under the social information, you can either add or edit the social information of the particular vendor store. Under the payment method, you can select the payment mode in which the admin wants to pay the vendor commission. Commission type cannot be changed from here. However, admin can set the commission type which is discussed in details in the Multivendor X commission video. You can set the commission amount and hit the update button. From here, you can view the detailed information added by the vendors while filling the registration form during the login process. Once you are redirected to the vendor shipping page, you can set the shipping option either shipping by zone or shipping by distance. If you select the shipping by zone option, the admin can add a shipping zone under which the vendors will sell their product. The vendors can also select the location or the zip code under that shipping zone. Now if you select the shipping by distance, the vendors can restrict their shipping to some specific areas. Under the vendor follow section, you can track the number of customers following the particular vendor. Now for the last section, that is the vendor policy. Here the admin can either add or edit the shipping policy, refund policy, cancellation, return or exchange policy, which will get displayed under the policy section of the particular vendor. With this, we have come to the end of our video. If you like the tutorial, then do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Click on to the small red bell to get notified whenever we post a new video. Thank you for watching.